What's good? This is Marcus DeFingers with Audio Plugins Deal, back with another review. Before we get into it, actually, you might hear some family. I got some family visiting, so you might hear them come through the mic, but we're going to let it roll anyway. You know, that's the world we live in. Um, shout out to family for visiting. Um, we're going to talk about the Mini Monster from GeForce. We're going to talk about that. Before we get into it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this page to tune in, to get notifications for uh, upcoming deals this year in 2022 for new deals, new products, new announcements, things like that. Be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Mini Monster is basically the GeForce interpretation of a Moog uh, keyboard. I believe it's the Mini Moog they're emulating here, but they're adding so much more into it. So let's just get right into it. You see the plug in here, a lot of buttons, a lot of knobs. Up top, you have uh, modulation controls for the LFO. You also have uh, ADSR sort of modulation controls up there. You have MIDI controls right here in this panel parameter. I really don't deal much up here in this area. Um, I really like to choose presets and dial in those sounds um, as needed. Uh, uh, then you have settings knobs up here. Um, you might want to go up here if you want to change the sound from poly to mono, uh, legato, or unison. And then if you want to detune, if you're using the unison option, you also have uh, MIDI mode uh, controls where you can choose a certain um, uh, MIDI controller uh, output or input you want to use. So you can choose uh, channel one or the MIDI channel you want to use. Then you also have polyphony. So if you want to have eight or you just want to have it be one, if you choose mono, polyphony will obviously be one. Um, but if you have the poly, you can have different um, polyphony modes there. And then the tempo, depending on the tempo of the beat that you're making, um, it can match the tempo there. Just make sure if you have a delay or sequence in there um, that's running, that it will match the tempo of your beat. Uh, and then right here is sort of the, the main main controls of the um, plugin. You have controllers here where you can detune, you can adjust the glide, the modulation mix there, um, and then you can turn on the oscillation uh, modulation there, oscillator modulation there. You have three oscillators, so you have one, two, three. You might not be able to see this one. Um, I will try to, I think I've zoomed in on here on the video. I'll zoom in on this plugin itself. Um, on the left, you have the range, and then on the right, you have the waveform, so you can choose the range and the waveform for all three oscillators, and you can really custom build your own sound there. You have a mixer for the three oscillators here, um, and then you can also adjust um, uh, some different options here, like the noise volume, the feedback, things like that. Um, you have an indicator if it's distorting or overloading the plugin. Um, you can add in the white or pink noise, which is um, tied into this noise volume here. Um, then you have some different uh, filter modulation buttons here. You also have a uh, filter, you can adjust the cutoff frequency. I believe it is a four pole uh, frequency with 24 decibels per octave. Again, you don't have to know all the different numbers and settings and things. Um, just great to know if you're into all of that. Um, for the filter itself, you can adjust the decay and sustain. Um, so you have all kinds of settings in here. Um, you can also adjust a delay. There's a built in delay, so you don't have to go into another plugin um, if you don't want to, and you can customize that delay to your needs. And then you have modifiers for the loudness contour, and then you also have output level, output pan. Um, down here, is where you can choose presets. You can save and load presets. Um, it comes with, I want to say, over 6,000 um, factory presets. So that's a lot <laughs> to choose from. You also have patch banks that you can tune into here, patches 1 through 12 for each preset. So you can add in a little bit of different, um, these 12 different filter op options and things like that. And then you have your pitch wheel and you have your modulation. You can adjust the bend of the pitch wheel here. Usually it defaults to two. Um, you have your glide and decay functions here. You can hold out some of the notes there. Um, and then on the far right, you have morphing controls. So definitely when you get this, definitely dive into the manual, dive into some other YouTube videos that really go into how you can use these different functions and things um, for like sort of analog synthesis and programming and things. Um, what I like to do is just go in here, find a sound. So let's go to, um, right off the bat, we'll go to A Boogie on Bass. Hopefully you can hear that. And then let's go to, I'm just gonna play through a couple sounds. We have uh, some bass sounds here. Uh, this is our Buka bass. This is really great for the sound um, that if you're trying to get those 80s synth vibes, even if you're trying to do like funk vibes or trying to get some of that, I would say um, like Silk Sonic, um, Bruno Mars type synth sounds. That's really coming back right now. Even The weekend, his last project had a lot of these synth sounds in there. Um, let's go to uh, select bass, select the bass. Um, really great sounds. You can just start building an idea off of that. We'll go to the Bishop. Really some great effects, uh, science, like sci-fi effects. Really great sounds there. Let's play sonar. Again, great sounds there. I can I can go I can spend all day going through these sounds. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just play through a beat that I created using uh, one two three four five instances of the mini monster, and I just do some drums on there. So here we go. Let's play this idea. <laughs> So 
so yeah that's basically the vibes that we're dealing with um shout out to g force shout out to mini monster um some really really great sounds in here again definitely check it out just to give you an idea of what you're dealing with let me make sure i got the right information for you before we go too far um it is normally $129.99, but you can get it on sale from Audio Plugin Deals for $29.99. That is a steal. That is a $100 saving. You can get it as a AAX, AU, and VST plugin. So it should work in most or all major DAWs that use any of those formats. So definitely, definitely check it out. $29.99. Definitely worth the price. Shout out to Audio Plugin Deals again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We have more deals on the way coming for you in 2022. So stay tuned. Be safe and be well, everyone. All right. All right. Peace.